Okay, so what I wanted to do is just quickly show you how to use um, the app Word Swag um, to create lovely graphics for your social media. Um, I'm going to be doing it for Instagram. So you can see on my screen that I've already got Word Swag installed, um, which is there over on the right hand side um, in like a turquoise colour. Um, it is not a free app, I think it's something like £3.49, um, but it's worth every penny. So what I'm going to do is open up Word Swag by clicking on it. It will load the app. And for some reason on mine, it doesn't. Um, you've got two icons, so you've got gallery on the right and then you've got camera on the left. My camera doesn't work on this app, so I don't know why. So I just tend to search for images um, that I feel that um, I could use. So obviously you can see at the top that it says search Pixabay images. Um, so we are going to just select a picture so you can scroll down here and you can use any of these templates um, I always like turquoise colors because it represents my brand um, but then you can also search by clicking in the search bar um, so you can search say female because obviously I'm, my target audience is female um, so You just kind of, if you've got a quote in mind, for example, you can just choose a, an image that represents um, the quotation that you want to use. Um, I'm going to search for heels because I've got a quote that I would like to use. That's it. Scroll down and have a look for a picture that I would like to use. So I'm going to use this one. So you can see that it's got different um, different sizes. I always use um, this this square one for Instagram um, because obviously it's square. If you want to use one for your Instagram. Um, stories it's a slightly different size so you would use that one on the end 9 by 16 but in this case I'm going to use square so then I'm going to click crop and then it gives you all of these different styles of texts um, that you can use I always like to use this square one so you just double tap double click on it if you if you lost for a quote you can just click some of these um, so you can click down and it'll give you like different um, different ones um, so I'm just going to go up to custom and I'm going to put there so that's my that's my statement um, so I'm going to click save and close so you can uh, where it says says who that could be the person that says the quote um, but I'm just going to leave that blank um, so I can put that there you can change the colour of that by just clicking over and obviously changing the background colour um, which I am actually going to do I think I'll see if how it looks yeah so and then obviously you can change the transparency as well so you can have it full full block of colour or you can have it um, transparent so that's what I am going to do you can go back over to the image and you can change the image um, filter change the brightness of it by moving that along you can change the filter um, by changing you know by clicking on any of these I quite like the the, the um, vibrant one to be honest so I'm going to click that you can move that around you can change what am I doing? So you can change the style of that. I'll rewrite it there again. So you can change the style by clicking on style. So I've used the the, the, the first one, but if you just go through um, each one of them, you can just you can obviously select which one that um, that you like to use depending on the image that you're using and the quote obviously um, that you're using so what I'm going to do is choose a square one which I like I 
I'm going to press save. From this screen you can click on share or you can add um, watermarks or you can just re-swag which means re like start over again. So that's telling me that my picture is successfully saved. Then what I'm going to do is click on add logo or watermarks. So you can add a text logo or you can have add a image logo logo um, as a watermark so if you're creating these from scratch and you don't want somebody to pinch them so say for example you're a photographer and you are using your um, pictures your own pictures and obviously you don't want somebody to lift them and take them as their own so what I always do is try and add a text watermark within the pictures so they can't be cropped so if you crop them if you crop if you add a watermark on the edges people can easily crop them so I always try to add them in the middle somewhere subtly so I'm going to click text um, I am then going to double click that and I'm going to put um, the tech angel And I'm going to put click and save um, and I'm going to change that to that and then if you use your fingers to make it smaller you can make that smaller and the same goes for the the other text as well so i'm going to change color and i'm going to put that in a white so that shows up there so you can see that i've got my little watermark and um, in there so some if somebody tries to crop it they have to actually pretty much crop three quarters of the picture out so i'm going to save that again wait for that to save And that's telling me my picture is saved successfully. You can go to your gallery and upload it from your gallery because that's where it would be saved. Or you can just simply click share. Choose where you would like it to be shared to. And mine is going to be shared in, direct into Instagram. And I am going to just put a, an emoji in there. Because what I like to do is put my hashtags then into the next comment. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to click share. So then you can see that that's in there now as um, a picture. So you can see all the ones that I've done. So I'm going to click back on that and I'm going to click on the comments. And then what I'm going to do is go to my clipboard, find where my hashtags are, click upload. So you can see that I had my hashtags in there. Um, so then I've got my comments and I've got my hashtags and I've got my picture. And that, in a nutshell, is how you use WordSwag to create some pretty cool graphics in Instagram.